Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Live. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video guys to any of you having a Hyundai Tucson guys, you have check engine light on and you have any of the following codes, which is code P0190, P0191, code P0192, 193 or 194. Any of these five codes will explain what most likely causes that and will explain by replacing that sensor how you can uh, practically destroy your electrical system. So make sure to stay until the end, we'll share super helpful information with you today. So let me introduce you to the channel quick guys. Every single car we get at the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos. We take them completely apart and we show you how to fix pretty much anything. Why we do that? Simply because our mission at the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel and like the video. Another thing, if you need to buy tools or parts for a really good price and quick shipping as well, you can check out the link in the description of the video below. That's where we get all our supplies and tools from. So that right here is a 2.4 GDI engine that we'll be demonstrating on. Now, uh, even if you have a different engine that's direct fuel injection GDI engine, it will still work, guys. So let me uh, show you now. Many of you have been asking us in the comment section below to share information about the scanner that we use and what we recommend. That's the one, guys, okay, uh, right here. Uh, we'll put the link in the description of the video below if you need to check the current price and features, but it's amazing too that can pay itself off in one-time use. So. With that being said, let's explain now what can easily, guys, okay, cause uh, these codes 190 to 194. Right here, under the intake manifold, you have the fuel rail right here with the direct fuel injectors for each cylinder. Now, on the bottom here, you have that sensor that we have pre loosened here. We have a special video how to replace it, but it, it is known as a fuel rail pressure sensor. That sensor is needed for multiple things. It sends information to the engine computer, what's the pressure in the fuel rail, and the engine computer will decide how much fuel to send from the high pressure fuel pump, because that pressure in the fuel rail needs to stay constant. So that way, okay, it knows exactly how much fuel has been sprayed through the fuel injectors. And when people replace those things okay one thing that they forget guys is to disconnect the car battery and you can catch yourself and your car on fire because here there is a positive battery wire to the alternator and one to the engine starter in addition you need to disconnect the car battery but people don't know which battery terminal to disconnect or reconnect first and i don't blame them we have a video that explains clearly that if you do it the wrong way you can cause damage to the engine computer and the electrical system but if you have any of these codes what can cause that guys you gotta make sure that the connector is plugged in good it's clean it's not broken melted anything like that Number two, inspect the wires to make sure that they're good. Okay, they could be chewed by rodents or anything like that. Number three, it is very likely that you have a bad fuel rail pressure sensor. And if you want to see how to test fuel rail pressure sensor, we have a special video that explains how to do that on our main YouTube channel, how to repair guys. So please check it out. Hopefully guys, the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.